Ashley, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Who's the butt? Right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Holy <laughs> Hello friends of friendship, this is Winky Face the movie and today I'm playing the Stanley part what 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 no I want I wanna go back. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I did not. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. Okay, sure, whatever. He wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to Yes, I did. I did. Ah! Relaxing lag. Ah! I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna watch the painting. This is the best game ever. Painting watching simulator. Okay. Open door on my left. But oh, what's in what's what's in here? Stanley was so bad at <laughs> directions. It's what? He wasn't no, no, he wasn't. No, he's not. Stanley's an innocent little job guy. Got he has a job. And oh, I go in here. Um. Oh, looks like something from Kerbal Space Program. Hey, dude, in the truck. Lights are on. Whoa. Signs. Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while someone, while it is in motion, will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. $5,000. I'm so tempted to just get the five dollar, the five thousand dollar. I think. I I think um, I'm gonna go up here. Can I jump down there? I don't want to though. It's peaceful. Her. Who? Your chance to redeem yourself. Who are you talking about? Your work aside to let her back into your life. Who? Been Who? That's her, Stanley. You oh need dear Lord. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Seven days. No. What? What the? Hey, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. What the butt? Right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Holy! <laughs> Jesus! Think you had a loving wife. They want to commit their life to you. I'm yeah. trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. That I'm a lonely loser. Let me show you what's really going on here. Uh, uh, stop. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. No, it's not. Let me out. So press V on my keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature okay. of his existence. Okay. Oh, press K. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's ah. going home. No noms! He's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No, he hasn't. Let me out. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Yeah, I'm in the European the jungle. I don't know. <sighs> Discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work, was no. a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. 
No! G to watch TV. And so he began oh. To oh! Oh! First he imagined uh, one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk. The TV is a clock! What? No! No! Stanley EXE has stopped working! No! Welcome back, um, this, um, well, the Stanley Parable crashed on me as soon as I got to this part, and the TV, yes, it did turn into a clock, um, so I'm, okay, press K, oh, wow, didn't notice that, no, 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 didn't see that, 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 Press B? What does it do? But in his mind, what happened? In his mind, he can go on fantastic. I wanna go out. I wanna go out. Honey! Hold the thing out of the thingy! Was a reminder that none of it would ever I want the bread! Oh, six! And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Television. I love this show. To realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Huh? Spend time with the boys. He went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors. What? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's a filing cabinet. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepared in there? Ah! World, he began to fill it no! With possible no! Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. No! Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? Tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so what? Said, he Where are my kids? Again. Kids? Again. Get out of the bedroom! Over and over, kids! Beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Get me out, 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 get me out. Yeah, wife. Dear Lord! In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. No. Yes, everything has changed. Get away! Pencil sharpener, get out! Oh, spist, To go to sleep. In this world, he eh? never be no, this is this is the novice. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Nope. Okay. He's electing to kill himself. Oh, How okay. Can I get him to see what I see? Oh. How can I make him look at himself? Third person mode. Seven. J K B N C A S W D. You question nothing. Fine, I'll press it. No, I didn't press the button. Okay, sure thing. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I. Ah! 
what happened. Is that an ending? Did that end? Yeah, it did. That was weird. I didn't get that, but next time I wanna, I want to um try something new. I want to go back to that room because I found out that you, I think if you can, you can un. Th 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 no. There, there's, there's, what the raw? No! I don't like it! I don't like being fu- what, What's in there? Oh. Minecraft. Cool. No. No. No! Get me out of this! No! 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 Screw it! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I don't like it here. Sublime. A work of art. What was it about this? But you keep shooting the text and the doors keep shaming. Open door on his left. No, no, he didn't. Stanley was so bad at following directions. I want to jump into the abyss. Five years ago. Woo! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do. Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you're very proud. I'm glad. Pebble. Um. That was an ending. <sighs> Yay! Two open door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it. Okay, I'm on my way back to that area. I wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the Give me soda! And he felt sad again. Oh. Then he came back and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of cover. Tingle. Cool. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Cool. Infinity and whatever. I don't care. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't... So, there's a different... Apparently, there's a different option that I could do. Um, I always thought you could unplug the phone... The phone in the office. But, if you go up here, and where the phone is, where you had to get to the woman, you, you, there was a plug behind it, and you can unplug the phone, apparently, so... Um... So, when the light clicks on, I can go to the back and unplug the phone, and I don't know what happens after that. Apparently, that's an ending, too. Sure thing, dude! Yeah! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Then you go here and then click it. I think it unplugs. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I did. Take that. Yeah, I did it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the heck? What kind of game is this? It's like Portal. That's not what happened. That's, that's not what happens. No. Nope. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How hmm? are you making meaningful choices? Wait a second. Did I just see? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <gasps> this is me. Oh my gosh. This is just. This is. This is amazing. I've never felt this feeling. I need to spin around in my wheelchair a little bit. Hey! Ow, I hit any. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hmm? Okay, sure. 
part of being a real person. Yeah, I'm a real person. Correctly, can also be the most dangerous. Oh. For example, in this scenario, a hey, hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He can spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens <laughs> of impoverished the? world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would <laughs> he make? Remember, I'd burn it. Here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then um. you an excuse why you cannot continue talking. I don't get it! Your partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I am supposed to be having a bad sack and crack. Awkward. Excellent. <laughs> choices on a regular no. is the best part to a healthy You're a genius. Process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. <laughs> Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially oh. and the subside. Stop. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. No. Oh jeez. What the fudge? Begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Uh, more charts. Uh, please, I'm begging. Stop, stop, stop. We visit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. No. Huh? No. Wait, is it the same? Who is this? No, let me off. Let me off. Let me off. Is there a door? Let me off. 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 What? I'm going backwards to the story now. Do not lie. If you're lying, stop right now. <laughs> um, so do, do I do what? I don't get it. Ugh, it's creeping me out. Okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. The real world? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. I'm Stanley! I'm Stan- Oh wait, how does Stanley act? When he came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. Oh! This part of the story still or is this just like beginning the thing again? Yet there was not a single person here. Um okay. What do people want? Things, money, more money. Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs about things and money. What's this? Teenagers, sides of demographic space between the teenagers. So yeah, charts and graphs room. Oh wait, 
Boom closet. I'm gonna go in the boom closet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Suppose. Yeah. What? No, I I want to go down. This is no. No, they're gonna force me to complete the store, aren't they? I uh, don't don't do this. Can I go in here? No. Come on, dude. Dude. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Stop! Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Please speak clearly in the saver. Computer just last week. Night shark one one five. Night shark one night. What? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Four. Night shark one five five. How do I do this? Night shark one five five. Night shark one five five. Night shark. Yeah, I can't. I can't talk, dude. I can't. Is there no other buttons? Well, I can't talk, so. I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't freaking talk. Is that ending? Chase! No! Missing textures. Left. Nope, going to the right. Oh, it's not gonna let me go to the right, is it? Someone screwed up the game. Um, yeah. I'm okay. Sure. Sure thing. Holy! Those chairs is no clipping. No, you couldn't. I think you should destroy the game. Take it off of. What? No, you don't. Oh! Oh! Wait, where am I going? Am I going somewhere? I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Well, I don't 
don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Can I go in here? Nope. Nope. Can't. Um. I didn't do this. The, the, the tiles are coming out of the ceiling. There's a hole in the door. I did. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. <laughs> and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What? What? <laughs> Whoa! Dude, I'm up here. Up here. This is actually really cool. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? You're welcome. I'm up here, dude! I'm gonna look at Stanley. Oh, Stanley, you look like a Counter-Strike character. A hostage from Counter-Strike. I don't- what? I don't need to- Oh, that's funny. Kevin Mass, the load. His artwork. Oh, yeah, I like this artwork. Um... Okay. Um, I don't, I, I don't like it here. Get, 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 go away. Made and sourced by Valve. Stanley Powell uses Havoc physics. Oh, Havoc. Glay is messed by Galactic Cafe. I am up here. Let's just go through the door. Go through the door. Door. Can I go? No, Stan, Stanley. That was an end. That was surprising. That that is all for this time. If you en if you enjoyed this, which I'm, I would be very surprised if you did, then please like it, comment it, and do all that other stuff. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.